Alright, so I just finished episode one of season one of Dynasty, which is called I Hardly Recognize You. Um, first and foremost, I guess you could say the flaw of the show is the fact that it doesn't really have that many likable characters. Um, the only, like, likable character for me would be Steven, the brother. Everyone else just seemed very manipulative and underhanded and, like, power-hungry. The show does a good job of introducing you to all the characters and kind of giving you snippets of their motivation and the relationships. But, like, it also is really good at showing you how manipulative everyone is because, you know, Fallon wants to get rid of Crystal, so she uh, finds out about her having visited her ex, then shows it to her dad, and instead of doing what it, she desired it to do, it ends up working against her because the dad invites the ex over, and I feel like probably lets him know, like, hey, she's mine now, I'm marrying her, move on. Um, which is kind of a dickish move. And then the fact that, you know, Blake kind of just gives Crystal the COO position when, if we're being honest, it probably should be Valen, is a little shitty. Um, and I also love how they showcase that Valen definitely is her father's daughter by her going behind Blake's back and meeting up with Jeff Colby to align with him to make their own competing company to go against her dad. Kind of show him like, well, if you're not going to give me the position I've worked and deserved, I'm just going to be your competition. Which I think is brilliant in a way. Um, yeah, like I said, none of the characters are that likable. Steven's probably the most likable one, and even he has his issues. Um, Crystal's okay, but you can tell that she is gonna get good at this game. If I had to pick someone, I'd say, even though she's a bitch, I really love Balan. And I think what I like about Balan's character is she is so driven and determined. And she's not gonna let anyone tell her what she can and cannot do. And also, I like her dynamic with uh, Colhane, because you kind of get to see kind of the softer side of Fallon. So I like that. But yeah, so overall I'd probably give the first episode three stars. Um, I think it's a solid start. It gives you a good idea of what these who these characters are, their personalities, what drives them, and kind of gives you hints of where we're going to go for the season. So yeah, now it's time to start episode two, and I'll be back with my review for that one. I just finished episode two, which was called Spit It Out. And basically this episode kind of revolved around the investigation of Matthew's death and suspects and his funeral so um some kind of funny highlight moments for me i loved when sammy came into the dining room and fallon saw him she just assumed oh it's some dude random dude that <laughs> Stephen decided to sleep with and then he's like no this is crystal's nephew and he, she's like oh and then blake comes in and assumes the same thing and then <laughs> Stephen once again no this is crystal's nephew and he goes oh yeah, I knew that. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, apparently, the Carringtons do not care if they're at funerals or wakes. They, they will have sex. <laughs> As shown when Fallon was giving Colhane a blowjob at the cemetery during the funeral. And then Blake and Crystal decided to have sex at the wake back at the mansion. So, you know. <laughs> Just because someone's died does not mean you can't have sex. That is what this episode apparently had decided to teach me. Um, Blake giving Claudia all the stuff Crystal had of Matthews was both smart but horrible. It, it was smart because, you know, just have all of his stuff with his wife. That's smart. But it's horrible to Crystal because like 
this she's still mourning the dude and you're just gonna take all her stuff and give it to his wife you know what i mean it's just, it was more manipulative and hurtful towards her but um anders does not play around like crystal's face when he when he said cecilia machado oh it was so good it was so good just don't fuck with Anders. Two episodes in, we know. Do not mess with Anders. He will get you. Um, and then lastly, I forgot that Steven got arrested at the end of episode two. I don't remember where, storyline-wise, it goes. Um, but yeah, this, it, this is drama for drama's sake. That's basically all this is. It's a soap opera. So everything's really overdramatic, but it's so fun to watch. And yeah, I think that's all I've got for this episode. I'm gonna give it um, three stars, like I did the first one. It storyline-wise and product, you know, everything was pretty much the same as the first episode. We're just kind of continuing the story. Um, nothing really jumped out at me this episode that kind of made it better or worse than the first one so we're still on an even playing field so yeah i'm gonna go watch episode three now bye guys